Hello, sports fans, and welcome to uh, the Scott Sports 101 uh, NFL Super Wild Card uh, Playoff Edition and the uh, first ever Browns Playoff Edition of Scott Sports 101. And we will talk about that, and that's tomorrow. And we'll talk about all the games. We have two in the books already. Uh, we'll go all that in just a moment. But first, here is today's uh, Scott Sports 101 NFL Playoffs Trivia Question. Uh, who was the MVP of Super Bowl 22 played on January 31st, 1988? I will, <coughs> I will have the answer later in the podcast. Well, it's uh, the NFL playoffs right here. It's uh, the NFL Super Wild Card round today and tomorrow. There's uh, uh, two games already in the books. Uh, and the game was played, and there was one of us playing the early game. We'll look at first. The Buffalo Bills beat the Indianapolis Colts 27 to 24 at Bill Stadium in Buffalo, New York. This is uh, the Bills' first playoff win since 1995. And the first uh, time in a quarter of a century that the Bills have won a playoff game. And it's been a long time since the Bills Mafia has been able to celebrate like this, quarterback Josh Allen said uh, in the postgame show on CBS. But yet again, it's one game. I'm, I am just happy to have a, for a chance to be able to play next week. Uh as for the Colts, uh, they, they've had a great season. They won 11-6. <coughs> and uh, the loss to the Bills uh, stings for the Colts fans. But their future is still bright. And I feel the Colts will be back in the playoffs next year. I mean, the Colts had a 10-7 lead uh, uh, in the second quarter. But in the fourth, the... Uh, uh, Bills just pulled away, and they got the victory in that one. <coughs> uh, in the second game, the uh, L.A. Rams and the Seattle Seahawks battled it out in, in the second wild card game at CenturyLink Field uh, in Seattle, Washington. And the Rams beat the Seahawks 30-20 to uh, in that game, and... Uh, uh, the Seahawks, uh, uh, it was a uh, tight game between the uh, the Rams and Seahawks up until the fourth quarter. And then the, the Rams just uh, 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 really uh, uh, cracked this game wide open. They popped it wide open and scored two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. And... Uh, and uh, they got they got the win actually touchdown and a field goal and they got the win so and so they get the win needless to say and uh, uh, the Rams move on and unfortunately for Seattle their season comes to an end but I think they'll be back in the playoffs next year. Uh, John uh, Wolford was taken to the hospital uh, due to a head injury. He had a neck brace on him. Uh, uh, just uh, 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 just uh, several minutes. Uh, uh, after the first qu- 15 mi- uh, just several minutes into the first quarter, and that's when Jared Goff came in and took over, and uh, and th- and that is why the uh, why uh, Jared Goff took over, and that's why Wolfer was taken to the hospital, and they will, we will keep you updated on that, his injury progress. Uh, in the third game, right now, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Washington Football Team are battling it out right now at FedEx. Field in Washington, D.C. Uh, the Bucks are beating the Washington football team. Uh, uh, is a, a nine? Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, they were up nine six at the end of the first quarter, and then Washington just scored a touchdown in the second quarter, and the extra point is good, and it's now a two point lead for the Bucks at nine to seven. And uh, Alex Smith is inactive. They were hoping his calf injury was going to heal uh, for him to be back in time for tonight's game. But that was not the case. So t- uh, Taylor Hinkey is in uh, 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 as Washington's quarterback. And their playoff fate rests in his hands. So we will have to see what happens. 
Uh, the Browns got some good news today. We'll get to that in a minute, but I want to uh, go over the rest of the games. Uh, the other three games for tomorrow. The uh, Baltimore Ravens will take on the, tit the Tennessee Titans at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, that'll be the first one at 105. And uh, I've won on the Bills, lost on the Seahawks. I'm also picking the Buccaneers to beat Washington. I'm going with the Ravens to beat the Titans, the Saints beat, to beat the Bears, and the Browns to beat the Steelers. <clears throat> and uh, I do feel that the... Uh, the Ravens will get the win, but Tennessee could win this one. You never know. Uh, the uh, Chicago Bears will take on, they'll take on the New Orleans Saints at Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, and I'm going with the Saints. And this could be this could be a high-scoring game, I think. And I really feel, but it'll be a close one between the Bears and the Saints tomorrow. And the Cleveland Browns will get ready to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers tomorrow evening at 8:15 on ESPN at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. And they've got three other guys back from uh, the COVID-19 reserve list. Uh, 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 they got uh, Harrison Bryant, uh, Ronnie uh, Higgins back, and uh, and uh, um, uh, they got one more. They've got they got three other guys back from the uh, COVID-19 list, though. So uh, they will be uh, have th those three guys back, and uh, Denzel Ward is out for tomorrow's game. He's still on the COVID nineteen list. Uh, and uh, and and. It's a thing that the and uh, so that that that'll be a good thing for the Browns uh, and uh, so and so I hope uh, I think the Browns will get the win in this game tomorrow because they want to snap that uh, losing skid in uh, Pittsburgh. So and uh, so this is good news for the Browns and uh, that the uh, Browns uh, got their. Uh, I got their, uh, they got, that the guys, the Browns got three other guys, uh, back, uh, they got, uh, uh, but they did get, uh, they got, the. Uh, Yeah, they got three of their guys back, and that, that's a good thing that they did get them back. And, yeah, it was uh, Ronnie Higgins, uh, uh, Harrison Bryant, and I think Nick, uh, oh, uh, um, I can't remember the other guy's name, but I'll let you know tomorrow. But it, they did get three of their guys back, which was the uh, good thing that they did. So that'll, that will uh, help uh, the Browns out. <clears throat> Uh, to, oh, and they got uh, T.J. Watt uh, uh, back. They got Watt back. That's who. So uh, that'll be good. And uh, this, this is really going to be uh, – Mike Prefer will be uh, the acting head coach, as you know, and uh, Alex uh, Vampa will be uh, calling the uh, plays. So we will see what happens uh, tomorrow in this game. At 8.15 tomorrow evening. Uh, we'll talk more about today's games. Uh, today's uh, games in just a moment. But right now it's time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 uh, NFL Playoffs trivia question. Who was the MVP of Super Bowl 22 playing on January 31st, 1988? If you said Doug Williams, you are correct. Williams was 18 for 29th and threw for 340 yards. And through four TD passes. I'll have another trivia question on my next podcast, which will be tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Uh, getting back to uh, uh, today's games. Uh, the Rams just really pulled away with this one. And uh, I thought Seattle would do it, but they just couldn't get over the, over the hurdle. And uh, the Rams just played a better game. <clears throat> they get the win. And 
Uh, they will await their next opponent for next week, and, uh, as the Buffalo Bills will uh, as well. And uh, so uh, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 uh, Super uh, NFL Wild Card uh, uh, Playoffs update on the first uh, right now. But I will have an update on the other game. The uh, I'll have a recap of that. The uh, Tampa Bay-Washington game, once it has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day, and every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1, I'm done.